The Mettler Toledo TMA SDTA supports the following measurement modes. Dilatometry, compression, penetration, tension, three-point bending, swelling, volume expansion. Different measuring modes allow you to perform measurement on solid samples, foams, films, and fibers. Today, we will show TMA sample preparation. For dilatometric and penetration modes, we will use a polymer sample like PET of about 0.5 millimeter height. For tension mode, we will use a punched out piece of transparency film and a thin textile fiber. We will demonstrate the use of the three-point bending device on a bar of printed circuit board of 12 millimeters length. In the swelling tool, we will prepare jelly bears in water. And for volume expansion mode, we will use an oil sample. Let's start with the sample preparation for dilatometric mode. Prepare two fused silica discs. Open the furnace. Lift the probe up and insert carefully the two fused silica disc with tweezers onto sample support. Lift down the probe. Make sure the discs are well positioned. Adjust the position to 0% using the height adjustment ring and then press 0. Now Insert the PET sample between the two fused silica discs. And press Get L0. The initial length is sent to Star E software. Sample preparation for a penetration measurement is equal as for dilatometry. Put a fused silica disc on the sample support for protecting it from contamination. Make sure that the probe is in zero position. Lift up the probe. Place the PET sample onto the sample support. Lift the probe down so that the 3 mm ballpoint probe is in direct contact with the sample. Press Get L0. The initial length is sent to Star E software. Cut the transparency film sample from the film sheet by placing it on a piece of cardboard. Position the cutting end of the sample punch on the material and holding the punch with one hand, sharply hit the top of the punch with your other hand. A film sample of 15 by 5 millimeter is punched. Remove the sample from the bulk of the material and fix the jaw to it using the assembly jig. Do not tighten the screws too much, as this could affect the elastic properties of sample material and damage the jaws. Install the prepared film to the TMA. First, attach to the support and then carefully on the corresponding hook of the probe. Do not exert excessive force on the hooks as they could break. The thermocouple tip is situated as proximate as possible to the sample. It must not, however, touch the sample and the furnace when it closes. The free sample length of the sample should be exactly 10 millimeters when it is mounted in this way. Loosen the screw to widen the gap. Ensure that the gap is wide enough to insert the stirrups, which are copper clips coming as U-shaped wires. Cut off a piece of textile fiber of at least 20 millimeters in length. Insert the stirrup in each of the two notches of the clamping tool. Place the piece of fiber in the gap of the clamping tool. Make sure that the fiber is positioned between the two ends. 
Tighten the screw to clamp the fiber between the ends of the stirrups. Make sure that the two ends are firmly closed. Loosen the screw and remove the fiber with the attached stirrups with the help of a tweezers. Install the prepared fiber to the TMA. First, attach to the support and then carefully on the corresponding hook of the probe. Do not exert excessive force on the hooks as they could break. The thermocouple tip is situated as proximate as possible to the sample. It must not, however, touch the sample and the furnace when it closes. The free sample length of the sample should be exactly 13 millimeters when it is mounted as shown. Depending on the position where to put the copper clips into the tool, possible length are 3.5, 9.5, or 13 millimeters. The sample should be machined in a way that the top and bottom surfaces are plain and parallel. Depending on the material, it can be done with a saw, knife, or other cutting tools. One can remove brows from cutting at the edges with a suitable tool, for example, grinding paper. The sample can have a maximum dimension of 2.5 millimeters width, 12 millimeters in length, and 1 millimeter in thickness. It should not exceed a stiffness of 0.25 newton per micrometer. Carefully measure the sample width and thickness with a vernier caliper. Now, place the sample onto the three-point bending accessory for performing the measurement. The sample on the tool has a fixed length of 9 millimeters. Cut a gummy jelly into a rectangular cube of approximately 2 millimeters length. Place the cup of the swelling tool onto the sample support and lift down the probe to the bottom of the cup. Make sure that the probe is in zero position. Lift the probe up. Take cup from support and insert the piece of gummy jelly into the swelling tool. Put the quartz ring onto the cup, which prevents the liquid from evaporation. It should not touch the probe. Place the prepared cup onto the support again. Lift down the probe. Press Get L0 and start the experiment. The method should consist of two segments, and the experiment should have furnace open permission. The first segment is a five minutes conditioning. If the first segment is almost finished, open the furnace. Carefully fill the liquid with a syringe into the quartz cup so that the gummy jelly is almost fully immersed. Close the surface immediately and continue with the second segment. Insert the piston into the volumetric tool. Take care that the cut edge of the piston aligns with the hole on the top of the cup in order to make overflow possible. Place the empty volumetric tool with piston onto the sample support. Lift down the probe and set zero in the TMA. Remove the piston. Fill the volumetric tool around half with the help of syringe Reinsert the piston until it is in contact with the liquid and insert it into the TMA. Press Get L0 to get the initial length transferred to Star E Software. Start the experiment. 
Note that a very small force should be used in the method, which is 10 to 20 millinewton. We have now shown you how to prepare TMA measurements in dilatometric, penetration, film tension, fiber tension, three-point bending, swelling, and volumetric expansion mode. Further tips and hints could be found in the book Thermal Analysis and Practice. Some of the samples can be found in the tutorial kit.